Reconstruction is underway in the islands affected by the typhoon. Despite the unprecedented magnitude of the disaster, the authorities swiftly implemented a response system. But there remains a shortage of medical care, especially emergency and hospital treatment. While consultations at Tacloban's Bethany Hospital mainly involve infected wounds and chronic illness, many women go to the hospital for pregnancy-related complications. They are very worried about where they will deliver um, food is probably difficult and most of them have been displaced from their homes, lost their possessions. Surprisingly, all of them are already thinking about what they have to have ready and prepared for the baby, so they're very resilient, I think. The death of loved ones, the sight of corpses in the streets, the loss of their homes. Many survivors are in need of help to cope with the trauma. MSF is planning to provide psychological counselling over several months, for children in particular. As the provision of primary health care has improved in recent weeks, MSF has decided to suspend those of its activities that are no longer required. Public services have been restored incredibly fast. We hope they'll be up and running in a few months. MSF's objective now is to help with the reconstruction effort, and more particularly, rehabilitating health facilities. An example is Birawen Hospital, which was badly damaged during the typhoon. In the meantime, the medical teams continue to ensure that the population's medical needs are met.